Hi Leo, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your end of July reading. This is for the sign of Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Um, typically my readings are love readings, so just keep that in mind. It's just kind of like advice or not. Remember, if it feels right, it's right. If it feels wrong, it's wrong. Setting boundaries. You need to set some boundaries. Somebody may be taking advantage of you. Somebody could be watching you from behind the scenes or you could be watching them. It could go both ways. But this is somebody that is a big talker and could be really hurtful with their words. Um, brings conflicts into your life or, you know, this can go either way. But this is very conflicting communication, okay? Um... Or even something behind the scenes. Somebody could be talking about you behind your back. Whatever this is. There's, there's conflicts with another person here. You could be dealing with somebody who sticks their nose in where they shouldn't be. Oh, goodness gracious. Could be children. You could be dealing with children, but it doesn't have to be. Could be anybody, but... This right here, the Page of Cups, is completely opposite of the Page of Swords reversed. I mean, these are complete opposites. So, this is, uh, this is a welcome offer of emotional support, whether it's emotional love or kindness or friendship or whatever it is. This is also says follow your intuition with this situation. I think you guys are working really hard on something. You're putting in a lot of effort to do something. But there's a loss of abundance, okay? This is turning away from family feuds. There's some fighting going on here. There is. Could be between children or family members or whatever. I don't even know who. It doesn't even really matter. But there's some kind of arguments going on. You're doing just about everything that you can do to make it right. It's like you're putting in a lot of effort. And this could be just putting in effort to keep your nose out of it. You're putting in effort to keep things under control or to not cause an argument. That could be the case. Oh, goodness. You could be dealing with um, a Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius, somebody that is very... You know, this guy doesn't use his emotions, okay? He, he's not using his emotions. He's using his logical mind, okay? So it can be hard to deal with this person. But he's very decisive, and he tells it like it is. So I'm not sure if you're taking on that energy or you're dealing with somebody that is really judgmental or decisive or a little harsh. I feel like you could, there's, there's definitely a harsh energy around you. Um, and you may be feeling lonely at this time. You could be feeling lonely. You may be feeling like you're going through a midlife crisis. Or you may be deciding to step out. You know, step out of your shell. Maybe it's like, you know what? I'm going to burst. <laughs> that could certainly be the case. Let me get this focused. And then we will go right back to it. So the overall uh, outcome of this reading is the chariot. So that's fantastic. That means you guys are replacing fear with faith. You're finding the mental strength in whatever the situation is. It's like you have the strength. You have the strength for victory and success and there's no stopping you. There is an opportunity for some sort of growth in a relationship here. No matter what, there's an opportunity for relationship growth. Although I can see that you're going through a period of unhappiness. You could be dealing with a very negative Nelly. And this negative Nelly is trying to bring you down with them. So just keep that in mind. Um, this could probably, I think it's a family member. I don't know. It could be a friend. It could be a family member of the partner you're dealing with. I don't know. But I feel like there's a third party situation. And I don't feel like this third party set. It could be. 
you know, sexual, but I don't, I, I tend to feel like it's a, it's a family member or a friend that is meddling in your business. And I feel like you're doing everything in your power to keep things under control. And, you know, it's making you unhappy that you even have to go down this road, you know, but I think that you guys will be the victor in this situation. You will. Um, I feel like you guys are, are offering genuine love and support here. You're trying to do everything, you know, with your heart. But you're dealing with somebody that is exactly the opposite. And that's why we have these opposites. And it's funny. Look at this. Look at this. Okay, two swords, two waters right here. It's exactly the opposite. So you're dealing with somebody that is working against you. And they may not see it that way. Okay, they may not be trying to work. Well, this guy is, but this one isn't. Well, I don't know. You figure it out. But there's opposites here. Complete opposites. And... I feel like you're having a, a hard time, but you're doing well. You're doing really, really well um, taming that lion, put it that way. Um, because you're dealing with somebody who doesn't feel like you do. They're not feeling it. They're not feeling the emotions. They're not feeling the kindness. They're not using their heart. They're using their logical mind, and it's causing some some problems. Okay, It's causing some um, unhappiness within you. So let's get some... We're talking about love. We're talking about love. Okay. So, we're going to go over here. Have no fear. Okay, have no fear at this time. You know, sometimes you got to stand up for yourself. And maybe at this time, you need to defend yourself. You have to defend yourself, okay? You need to make the decision. This guy's made it decisive. He's not wishy-washy. You be decisive. If you want progress, if you want victory and success, you can't be wishy-washy either. You need to be decisive. Let go of the confusion. Take the next step. Be flexible. You are adaptable. You will be just fine. Okay? I see that you're trying to find balance. You're trying to keep balance. And you're probably juggling these this opposition. You know, you're doing the damn best that you can. But it feels like there's a lot of ups and downs. There is a lot of up and down. And some of these ups, ups and downs are caused by you not defending yourself. All right? You need to remove these obstacles. Okay? You need to stop lying to yourself that, you know, this is okay or, you know, this is just going to get better. That's a lie. You need to defend yourself. You've been procrastinating. You've been delaying. You've been delaying this stepping outside of your comfort zone to speak your truth. You've been delaying it because you don't want to hurt anybody. But the fact of the matter is, all this is doing is delaying, halting, stopping. Your happiness. That's what's happening. Is that what you, is that what you deserve? What about your happiness, Leo? Come on now. Maybe somebody needs to be left out of the cold. Maybe somebody needs to stop playing the victim because this is victim mentality. You're not a victim here. Stand up for yourself. Fight for what you believe in. Set boundaries. Don't let yourself be walked on. This five of pentacles reversed is it's the end of difficulty. After you stand up for yourself, you let somebody know who you are. Forgiveness is needed. And maybe it's you. If you're holding a grudge, forgive. Move on. Release the past. This is also a reconciliation. You want a reconciliation with somebody? Do you? Then you're going to have to give. You're going to have to forgive. You're going to have to release the past. You're going to have to let go. Okay? No grudges here with the judgment card. I forgive and move on. You could be dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. We have Scorpio. We have Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. We have Pisces, Scorpio, um, Cancer uh, several times. We have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. We have everybody but... And we have Leo. Uh, the only things I don't see yet are Aries and Sagittarius, but it doesn't really matter. You could be dealing with them as well. I do see that somebody is not being practical. 
they, there could be jealousy issues here, whether this is you jealous of another person or somebody jealous of you. Could be a family member, could be a mother, could be a sister, could be a friend, could be anybody. There's jealousy, could be an ex. Uh, there's jealousy, you know, maybe this ex wants a reconciliation with your partner. I don't know. I'm just saying. I feel like there is another person that is involved and it's causing animosity within your relationship, whatever it is, and you need to be practical here and you're not being practical. The Queen of Pentacles upright is grounded. She reverse, she is not grounded. And she's jealous. She's jealous. And what does jealousy bring? Conflict. You have to balance out balance out everything. You have to balance out your emotions. You have to balance out every aspect of a relationship. It takes equal give and take. You get what you give. You give what you get. It works both ways. There's an opportunity for some of you, not all, to forgive a situation. And it brings balance back to your life almost instantly. Balance and balance, okay? Trying to find balance. If you want to find this balance that's been missing with this opposition that you're dealing with, you're dealing with a, a huge opposition here. Another person. Could be a child. Could be children. Could be a partner. Well, it doesn't really matter. I'm not going to go over it again. You're dealing with an opposition, you know, and in order for this to work out, you're going to have to give. That's what I'm trying to say. You're going to have to be flexible. And forgiveness is big. Here we have Aries. Um, many times the Emperor can represent Capricorn as well. And I, I would neglect to mention that, but to me, it can represent Capricorn as well because they're both very solid, stable in men, okay? So, not that the other ones aren't, okay? I'm just telling you what I think. But anyway, um, this right here is somebody that it tries to do everything in their power to keep structure within a family. I'm trying to keep structure. I'm trying to keep things organized. I'm trying to do the right thing. He's very decisive. He takes the lead. He's very dominant. He's very protective. So I feel like this could either be you or another person taking on these energies, but it's telling you to stand, stand strong, stand your ground, and be decisive. No wishy-washy. I think that's been a problem back and forth, back and forth. Our... Are lions really afraid to stand up for themselves? In reality, not usually. They're not. So why have you been afraid to stand up for yourself? The emperor is very wise. And his family foundation is most thing important to him. It's his most important asset. But it takes equality. And he's looking for equality. And you could be dealing with somebody, or this is you, or this is an energy of lack of focus, lack of concentration, lack of integrity. Somebody doesn't want to be held accountable. Somebody doesn't want to follow the plan. And, you know, it's cause, it's a feeling of betrayal. It's a feeling of emptiness. I feel like there's some sort of completion ending that needs to happen. And this ending is mental. It's a mental ending. It's not like an actual death of a relationship. It's mental. It's what's going on in your head. I mean, it's what, or the other person. Some, there's a truce that needs to be called. This could be the end of mental conflict about this person who, or whatever it is, these people that have caused so much opposition in your life. It's like, that needs to end. You need to bring balance back to your life by letting it end. Move on. Move towards uh, peace and serenity and calmness and tranquility and, and calmer waters. You, ha you have the ability to do that at any time. By taking the lead to do that. You have to take the lead in this situation. You need to be the boss in this situation. and Be the bigger man. That's what this is. You need to be the bigger man. 
and let let whatever doesn't serve you go. This is like a let. This is the death of an idea through rest and recuperation. You know, you take this time out to rest, recuperate, and let go of this betrayal, let go of this hurt, let go of this mind game. You move to a better place as you take the time to heal. You know, so allow yourself time to release these negative thoughts. Again, the Four of Swords is thoughts. That's why I say it's the death of an idea. It's thoughts. Whatever it is that's causing a grudge or animosity or whatever it is, it needs to go. Not serving you. There's an opportunity for wish fulfillment and something solid and stable as soon as you let it go. You'll feel instant relief and there will be a new opportunity. This could be a new partner if you're single. That could lead to wish fulfillment with abundance and happiness and joy. But you do have to stand up for yourself in this situation. You need to stop attacking yourself as well, thinking that, you know, you did something wrong. This is attack. This is feeling like feeling attacked. Now, you may, this person that is your opposite, this opposition may make you feel like you're under attack. It may feel like you, you did something wrong, but it wasn't you. It wasn't you that did something wrong. You know, if it does, something isn't, doesn't work out, it doesn't work out. I feel like, you know, somebody is being naive, they're being, being taken advantage of, they're acting re recklessly by holding on to something that should be ended, okay? This is a release, release, so that you can transform. So there's an opportunity for a transformation here if somebody can let go. There's an opportunity for a fresh start, but somebody isn't letting it happen by still being critical, by still wanting to fight, by, you know, still wanting to attack, you know. So maybe you need to be the better person and say, you know what, Let's, uh, I apologize, whatever. Because that, that judgment card could be that forgiveness is needed. Somebody needs to, somebody needs to give. And even if you're waiting for that apology that you never got, then maybe you apologize in your heart to yourself. It wasn't you. It wasn't you. There's an opportunity for a fresh new start that leads to something solid and stable if you can let this old idea die, whatever it is. Now, if you think about it, I mean, the Ten of Swords, it kind of looks like a death card. This is a death card. And in many decks, the Four of Swords is the guy laying on the coffin. It's kind of like, a, this is a death of an idea. It's like a death card. Release, release, release. Completion, completion, completion. Allow yourself to let go of whatever this is, that, that whatever, if it's in your head or it's physical or whatever it is, it needs to go so that you can transform, so that you can begin again. So there is a new opportunity, could even be a reconciliation, I don't know. This is not going to resonate with everybody, but there's an opportunity for, for love, but you have to follow your intuition, you have to be kind to yourself, you have to be generous. You need to remember what love is supposed to be like. Now, we have the Six of Cups with the Queen of Cups and the Ace of Pentacles. This is a new beginning. Now, this could be somebody that you've known before, if you're single. But, you know, I feel this is, this is an obsession. So make sure you're not obsessed with the wrong one. Somebody could be obsessed with somebody from the past. This is an obsession with um, perhaps somebody from your past or somebody, you know, this is a water sign. So I'm not sure if somebody is obsessed with something they need to let go of so they can have this new opportunity, this new golden opportunity. Because this is, you know, I put it right here. This was right here. I had it like this. This obsession with someone from your past. But there's a golden opportunity underneath it that leads to wish fulfillment. But somebody that is better suited, but you may not see this better suitor because right now, you're in a situation that is negative. You may be in a you may be in a situation with somebody that you are not well suited for, and you're being taken advantage of, and it needs to end. And maybe you've just invested so much you don't know what to do. You're waiting patiently for things to change. 
But there's a completion here. There is. And this is universally di driven. There's a chapter of your life, and that is no doubt that is ending. Okay? A phase. A phase of your life where you've learned some karmic lesson or big lesson is over. And it's time for you to move on to the next phase. A, a new beginning that leads to something more solid, stable, and secure. But there's one area of your life, perhaps a past commitment that you're still angry about or upset about or unable to let go of that needs to go so that you can find this new solid opportunity. There is a major new beginning here, perhaps even with some travel. Um, And luxury. I mean, it just looks really good. Like, there are some new opportunities that are just waiting for you to see them. They're just waiting. So, I feel like at the end of July, you guys are going to have to decide what you want to do as far as calling a truce. Stepping outside of your head. Releasing, perhaps. And allowing a new golden opportunity to enter your life. There is an opportunity for... For a, a new partnership, if that's what you're looking for, something that you can that could lead to something very solid, stable, and secure. But somebody is obsessed with the wrong thing, something from the past. So just keep that in mind. There's a new beginning here waiting for you. It is safe for you to love. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. Open your heart. Open your heart. Okay? Open it. Oh. You know, I hate it when we get to, but you guys got lucky. Consider your foundation. Consider your foundation. Your foundation. I'm talking to you. Nobody else. Consider your foundation. You are being asked to look at how committed you are to love. It is safe for you to love. Are you committed to love? Are you? Because when you're committed to love, you need to make compromises. You need to let go of things that no longer serve you. You need to forgive. Are you ready? I don't think we need this card. It's probably not a good card for you. I don't think we need it. Look to your inner strength. Look to your inner strength. Come on now. You are stronger than you realize. I think you may have forgotten again. And to all the cross watchers out there that want to flip this and make it, you know, theirs, we don't do that shit. This reading is for Leo, sun, moon, and rising. And Venus. Talk to you later.